Oh, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Today we're looking for some walkable ice to finally get fishing. I'm a big guy. 6'6". Six, six. One positive of that is if I fall through, I might still be able to touch the bottom. If there's more content after this, that means we found some good ice. You guys stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Well, not what I was after, but it was a fun battle on ultralight. See you later. They're a little bit shallower, guys. I can even finish setting the tripod up. I already got one. Come on. It's pretty nice. Wherever it is. Yeah, that's a nice sunny. It's definitely not bad. Size the old Palmer. Here comes one to investigate. City. <laughs> it's like when you get two to battle, then they then they bite. Oh, just a perch though. There's a northern. <laughs> that is definitely a northern. See if we can get it to bite. It'll snap me off. Yeah, bud. <laughs> oh, nothing. Here comes one flying. Oh, that was a northern again. Northern's out of here, guys. Our charger. There he is. There he is. Feels like it's digging like a sunny. Holy. What is going on here? <laughs> I think it's just because it's like under the ice. Bad. I mean, <laughs> it's not bad, guys. Holy, whatever that was. Something. Uh -huh. Nope, it hit. We'll find out. Maybe. Holy, yeah, it's a crappie. It was completely flat under the ice. Oh, get over here. That is sweet when you can watch it dart, except for when I lose it. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That is a beauty. Awesome one. Maybe that can rid of the hole. Probably about a 10 incher. It's not that bad after a slow start. Guys. 
Mr. Hog Hunter has to leave. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. On. Yes. That's a fighter. It's a fighter. Another sunny. It's <laughs> a pretty good one. So we got here at about 7.30 this morning and uh, started deeper. Found out that the fish are not as deep yet. Just using a demon jig and a wax worm and the fish are in about eight to ten feet of water and they come up off the bottom they're not suspended in the water water column you gotta jig and get them to come off the bottom but as you can see if uh, they really want it they will come and get it there's already one in this hole Let's see if we can coax it to bite oh oh here it comes here comes one feeling there you go come on Ooh. pretty nice sunny eh? pretty good size eater pretty more to be had down there. You can see it's just stacked right off the bottom. Hopefully we can get another one right away. We'll see. Oh, here comes one flying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. One of them's going to hit. Here it is. Told you. Whenever you get two of them battling, just I'm excited. Holy, that one choked it. Wow. It's another pretty good size eater. Not a tank, but real, real good one to eat. Oh, no, no, no. It's barely had it in its lips. Fighter. Can't really tell how heavy it is, but it's a fighter. The old tuned up customs precision noodle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's probably the nicest sunny of the day. Ready for it? <laughs> That's. That's a pie plate. Wow. Look at that. That is a beauty. Get it compared to the hole. That is... That's awesome. That's why we come here. Right here, guys. Beautiful. My hook was showing horribly bad before. And oh no, I missed it. <laughs> oh dang it. Maybe you'll come back. Oh. Come on, come on. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Sometimes you get a second chance. Rarely. Rarely. Sometimes you do. Well, that's why I got a second chance, because it wasn't that big. Here's the difference between those other ones and then these. Oh, finally. It doesn't feel big, though. It's perk. What the heck? Huh. 
not bad. Not bad. Left this hole marinate for a little bit. Came back to it. My drag just was too loose, we'll see. Oh no. <laughs> That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Sometimes you just gotta let the hole marinate a little bit and then come back to it. And then you get the baggins again. <laughs> That's a beauty. I'm actually gonna leave this one sit right here for a little bit. So I'll chase all the other ones away because I'm going to leave pretty soon. All right. The uh, fish cleared out, so I'm just going to return this puppy back to its hole. And I'm probably going to get out of here. Boy, did that feel good to get out and scratch the itch. Uh, caught some good crappies, some some pretty big bluegills at times. It was a little slow in the beginning, but once we found them, it was a lot more fun. Got to fish with my brother, so that was good. We rarely get to do that anymore. Uh, yeah, some first ice panfish. Uh, as you could see early in the video, I was checking as I went with the spud bar. There's, there's around four inches. Some spots were slightly less. But uh, when in doubt, make sure you check and it's not worth falling through. That's why I have those striker ice bibs. So hopefully it helps me float. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll have more content coming now that it's ice fishing has begun. It's been almost a year since I started my channel and I'm just very, very grateful for everybody that has subscribed so far. Can't believe how much, how much it's grown and 11 months. I also have a little bit of a sponsorship coming and uh, I'll be posting that on a future video so you guys will be able to see that. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll uh, answer anybody. As always, thanks for tuning in to Jeremy Monson Outdoors. We'll see you next time. Peace. See ya.